Well, hello again folks and welcome to a very windy Cambridgeshire where I'm still trying to work out where to fit this diesel heater. Now my favoured place for the heater is still in there really. I found a smaller tank on Amazon but I'm not sure there's enough space in there really to fit it. I've been wondering about fitting it in there, perhaps repositioning the pump or making a sort of a little table to sit over the top of the pump. Or of course could put the tank where the current heater is. Really though, I guess the first thing to do is just to verify that we will be able to route the exhaust and everything if we put the heater there. We need to check under the van and see what's potentially in the way. It should be relatively easy to find the spot because obviously the water pipes go through there and the drain pipes go through there. So yeah, we should be able to easily find where we'll be looking at drilling our hole. Now, as always, I'll just point out that I am not a trained or qualified diesel heater fitter. Uh, I am just making this as a vlog for your entertainment as we try and keep our 1990 motorhome on the road and comfortable. It's not intended as a tutorial. If you have any doubts at all about fitting your own diesel heater, then please consult a qualified professional. That said, Come and join me in our favourite place, under the van. We're here under the van, hopefully you can see this is where those pipes come through and uh, this is the gas line coming through. So we've got a little bit of space there, but not a great deal of space. We've got to be careful to avoid this outrigger as well for the for the um, hole that we drilled through. So. Yeah, we're going to have to mark that out quite carefully, but I think we'll be able to sneak it in. Could potentially reroute those a little bit, couldn't I? Yeah, I, th I think it's doable to fit it in there. Um, there is obviously also lots of clear space here, so potentially we could run it the other way if we can get the fuel tank somewhere else. Uh, but of course there are a lot of pipes on the top surface there yeah i think whatever we do it might just involve moving those over slightly so this will sit sort of here-ish yeah you've got to avoid that outrigger too but i think it, i think it's doable i think it's doable we may even mount it at a slight angle so that we're keeping the heat clear of this uh, gas line and gas cock. And before we get too crazy ordering smaller fuel tanks and stuff, let's get this uh, old gas heater out and see what space it gives us. Well, we'll begin by ensuring the gas is turned off to the heater. It's turned off at the bottle in the cupboard there and also the gas cock here is turned off. I'm not seeing a great deal of fixings um, <laughs> to start undoing to try and get this out. So uh, I'm going to start by um, undoing that nut there. And uh, yeah, perhaps we can get the knobs. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to undo that there, see if that gets me anywhere. It could always be fixed from underneath, I suppose, because the flue does go downwards, doesn't it? I wonder if there's fixings underneath the van I've got to undo. Well, there it is. And to be honest, I'm not seeing a great deal there in terms of fixings that I could undo. We'll have to disconnect that gas line there, won't I? I'll come back with a spanner and we'll disconnect that.
Well, the only thing I can think of really is that it's fixed to the, this board, which is then fixed to the floor. So I'm going to undo these uh, four screws. There's one around the corner there as well. And we'll see if that helps. Well, it seems like it should come out, but it's not coming out. Bit at a loss as to what else I can undo. Perhaps if I loosen off this surround. Right, so here's the issue. The uh, heater itself will only lift up so far before that board that runs under there catches under here. And that's what's stopping it lifting out. Now, uh, also won't come forward enough to allow me to pull that out. So, yeah, everything is a bit sort of stuck together. I suspect that heater went in, I don't know can't really have gone in before the cabinetry because it's fixed to the cabinetry must be a way of getting it out we'll we'll just have to persist well folks i resorted to a bit of uh, brute force and ignorance and uh, managed to wrench everything forward enough to slide this out now can i uh, lift it out i wonder There's still something stopping it. Well, this is going well, isn't it? <laughs> I want to go back under the van and try and push it up again from underneath. See if I can see what's stopping it. Because I can't see anything up here that uh, should be stopping it from just pulling it out. To be honest, I'm just not seeing what's stopping it. It's like there might be something stuck to it or something like that. It seems to be, I can see the underneath of the board, everything is lifting away quite a distance, but it just, it just stops for some reason. And I just can't see why. Right, we're, we're meaning business now, folks. We've got the carpet pulled back a bit as well. Uh, so I can try and see what's going on. Now you see this grey material here. It's been cut away at some point. But uh, I think that board is sort of quite firmly bonded to it. So where it runs underneath the cabinets, we've got like a, a bead of some sort of sealant which is holding that in. The, the grey floor covering is coming up, but that sealant is holding it on. So uh, a bit more brute force and ignorance might see that come out. So 
there we go. Yeah, it doesn't actually look in terrible condition, does it? Just uh, obviously a bit leaky. Yeah, that's what's sticking it down, that putty stuff. Now, it has left us uh, with something of a hole in the bottom of the van, which uh, is not a great thing, really. Uh, although I suppose it is extra ventilation. We shall probably have to do something about that. The good news is though that we have space definitely for the uh, diesel tank to go in there. Right, I've uh, cut away the remaining bits of that grey stuff. I suspect originally that was like a vapour barrier membrane thing, but it looks like someone's got rid of most of it, probably when they laid this carpet anyway. So no harm in getting rid of those sort of tatty, edgy bits. But uh, yeah see our drive look through the hole. So anyway I think that gives us our solution as to where to put the diesel tank and obviously we need to make it look uh, nice and everything but I think we can do something quite creative with that uh, given a little bit of time. Well that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video please share it with your friends. Give the like button a press. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see some more.